Join me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Find all my social media links below in the info section of this video. Over on my social media pages, you guys have really been busting me up about getting this tutorial up on these hippie chic twists that I do now. And it's a really good protective style and I'm going to quickly show you how to achieve the look. You're not going to believe how easy it is. So the tools you're going to need is a rat tail comb, duck bill clips, or the long clips. Also scissors. I'm using the curl souffle for moisture and the curl paste on my edges. I'm using the new exclusive blueberry one that will soon be sold in stores. Also, the Expressions Hair Brand. I purchased mine from Hairwig Harlem. It comes out in a long braid. And if you all remember in my last set of braids, I cut this hair in half and used about three bags. And you can click here for that braid tutorial. These braids, I'm using about two and a half bags. Remember, the ends come out quite blunted and you want the ends to look more stringy so that they stay together and your hair doesn't unravel. It also looks more natural. So because of this, you're going to have to sit and pick the hair until the ends are uneven. It makes the hair again look more natural. So you're going to do it not just on one side, but you're going to flip the hair over and complete that process on the other side. Don't even know what it's about. But that's cool cause the meaning always changes Variations All done now places, So the ends are going to look like this Now I'm going to do my edge hair Which is the shortest, most delicate portion of my hair Taking the curls I'm going to make sure that I put a little bit of the souffle On the very length of that hair Making sure to protect it and moisturize it And make it easier to twist I'm also going to use a little bit of the paste To hold the edges down while braiding. Now taking just a small piece of the hair, you're going to start along the edge line. Now remember, keep those edge braids large if you don't want to have balding edges. It does not look good. So just twisting around the base of the hair slowly and not too tight, braid the hair down about an inch. I think that this is long enough to hold the hair and keep it before you start to twist. Once you've gotten as far down as you would like the braids, go ahead and start to twist. Make sure that you twist thoroughly and to the ends. You don't want these braids to unravel. So making sure that you twist to the ends will hold them together and keep them from coming apart. I'm simply going to repeat this process one more time for you, just in case it was hard for you to see how the braid is connected at the base. We are all done with that braid, so now it's time to move on to the next process and dip the hair in hot water. So now taking your towel and splitting your hair down the middle if you would like, and if you're doing your whole head, you'll want to split it into about four equal parts. 
remove the water from the stove before sticking your hair in there. You don't want to burn the hair. Carefully take the hair and place it into the pan or bowl in which your hair is housed. Count down from 10, take the hair out, and simply run the towel along the ends of the hair downward so not to disturb the braid pattern. That's it. And you're left with long, beautiful, luxurious braids. I absolutely love these. Now here are some pros and cons to consider about these braids. First off, the pro is they're really cute. They're not tight on you. They don't take forever to do. They took me anywhere from about about seven to seven and a half hours on myself. I really light, don't feel super heavy. They don't take a whole lot of skill. You just have to braid a little bit and then twist. They're easier to style than the braids that I These are so much easier to put up in a bun or throw back in a ponytail for workouts. It is simple. It's easy, carefree. They hold moisture a little bit better, I find. But there are some cons. The cons I find with these braids is that my hair pokes out of them. So you can often see my hair down to the, which is okay. If you have natural hair, your hair is going to uh, kind of go against the grain with this hair. The Expressions brand hair is the softest I've been able to find and it's really long lasting. So I don't think it's about the quality of the hair. It's just about the two hair textures in me. I would say every day I go through them with some oil and some moisturizer. So this is very simple. You can do it on your own. I think it's a wonderful winter and summer protective style. I'm definitely going to repeat these braids, but I'm only going to have them in for a month. I'm taking my hair down in January, so I'm sure I'll have hair updates then, but I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. It's really simple, really easy, really elegant, really chic. These are the braids I did for you all on camera. I really adore them, and when you do them, please post some pictures for me and tag me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I think you all are going to love and adore these braids. I, I love them. I can't get enough of them. Uh, I'll also be showing you all my braid spray regimen. So I'll have that for you all in the next video. So for watching guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or future post requests, let me know below and join me on all my social media and let me know what you want to see. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Click here to try out more of my styling tutorials like these. Music by Two Days to Alaska.